I never want to make uh, videos for YouTube that are a kind of soap. But anyway, perhaps it's interesting to show the following experiments of this circuit. First published on 9 April 2019 and now 12 April. A very sharp bandwidth audio filter. I've made two adaptations. Uh, I took into the whole uh, complex resistor one. That was on one mega ohm in my first video. Uh, but that was too critical and now I use a 10k potentiometer here. And I want to demonstrate sound, music and also how this circuit works with different frequencies that are derived out of a sine wave generator. So then you can very perfectly see the, how the bandwidth of this filter works. Capacitors are still 10 nanofarad, everything is the same. Only this adaptation, R1, is a 10k potentiometer. So let's listen to the sounds. I found that with that 10k potentiometer it was better uh, possible to align the filter to a frequency band. Anyway, the frequency is set in, in there. Um, in fact, by these two resistors, R2 and R3, they give the best effect. Let's say most effect, the biggest effect. Anyway, here is that circuit again on the breadboard, connected to the scope. The counter to the music source here. Now we hear music. And you can already hear that this music sounds a little bit shrinked. That has everything to do with the properties of the filter and how it was set at the moment. Let's see what happens. I have already shown that, so nothing new. Don't want to pay too much time to that. More important is, for instance, the sound, the frequency that we hear. <coughs> Holy shit! When the whole circuit is connected to the sine wave generator. The sine wave generator is here. It works on 2.4 kilohertz. This is the waveform at the output of the filter. And let's see what happens when we turn the two potentiometers, this one or that one. So let's see. Here you can see there's a very sharp peak when I turn the wiper of the potentiometer. And that is R3. Potentiometer 3. Now I go to potentiometer 2. Also a very sharp peak when I turn it. And potentiometer 1. That effect has, in my opinion, more to do with the input level anyway. It plays a role in the formula. So let's see what happens when we change the frequency that we send into that filter. We are going now higher. And you can see and hear on 4.9 uh, kilohertz the uh, output signal is diminished to a kind of very very low value. Let's see whether we can change, can tune that filter here again to that higher frequency 
of say 5 kilohertz. Wanna do that now? Turn the potentiometer. Yes, here is a peak. When I turn potentiometer, uh, potentiometer 3, and now I turn potentiometer uh, 2, perhaps it gives a better effect. No, it doesn't. Anyway, potentiometer 1. Yes, it has a very good effect, but the effect is much more on the input level anyway. We go to higher frequencies, say 7 kilohertz or 8 kilohertz. Let's see uh, if uh, whether we can tune the filter to that 8 kilohertz. Of course that depends on the resistor and capacitor values anyway. Yes, there is a sharp peak here on that frequency. Try it again. Only when uh, P2 is set into a certain position so when this uh, potentiometer is set into a certain position, you can tune here the frequency. Let's go to lower frequencies as an experiment, of course. Uh, all experimental. We now are on 1 kilohertz. Well, let's go to kilohertz and see whether we can tune this filter to a sharp peak. Two kilohertz this potentiometer well this is a very convincing uh, experiment I think. When I turn this you can see a sharp peak. And let's see what happens when we uh, go to higher frequencies. It's very weak. Try it again to tune it to that higher frequency. Yes this works. So I think uh, it shows uh, how this circuit works and what you can expect of it. It's a filter, audio filter that can work in the audio band. And um, of course when you want to make it and want to make it in a more or less definitive way uh, don't use these kinds of uh, potentiometers, but real potentiometers with a knob or etc. Or make it in stereo. Everything is possible. And or make these two capacitors variable. So for instance with a switch, switch it to 1 nanofarad, 4.7 nanofarad, 10 nanofarad, 100 nanofarad, 470 nanofarad, of course, always the same, both capacitors. And you will have a filter, an audio filter, that you can set to very specific frequency bands in the complete audio range. So, I don't hope this was a soap. Uh, it's an ID. My circuits are always uh, experimental, very experimental. They uh, show good practice, etc, etc. And this is an interesting idea to test and or to make, to play with.